Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with Star Wars The Black Series, Fennec Shand. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out. That's awesome too. Or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. To start things off, let's take a look at the packaging. On the top, a window to let some light in, a hook, and some tape. Star Wars The Black Series. And nice window showcasing Finnick and her two accessories. Star Wars Book of Boba Fett, Finnick Shand. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that don't belong there. Four and up, Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, made in China print. Some symbols I'm not gonna learn, and a barcode. On this side, stripe continuing around from the front that continues around to the back. Star Wars The Black Series on this side. Nice artwork of Fennec Shan. And on the back, that same artwork of Fennec Shan, just wider and not as long. Star Wars The Black Series. Let's see. Fennec Shan, an assassin and elite mercenary who has worked for all the top syndicates. Clever, capable, and cunning. She is a formidable opponent. And there it is in some other languages. She's 01 in the Book of Boba Fett series. Attention, don't stick things in your French pie hole. Achtung, don't stick things in your other language pie holes. Includes figure on two accessories. Some more small fine legalese print, some more main China print, some Disney print, and some Hasbro print. That, my friends, completes our look at the packaging. Now let's take a look at the figure and her accessories. And handy dandy tweezers, we'll start off with the accessories. And we'll start things off with her helmet. And it looks pretty much like it did on Mandalorian and Boba Fett. And in the Bad Batch. Oh, I think it's a nice looking helmet. Has details where needed. And just a few paint apps. And here is her sniper rifle. Nicely detailed, molded in color. Kind of a sparkly sparkles in in the plastic, rather I guess. And let's put that down. So nice details in there, and the strap. I'm not always a big fan of these plastic straps. You can't. You know, other than hang it on the figure, you really can't do a whole lot with that. But, you know, I, I don't know if there's a way to fix that or not. Uh, perhaps there is. It looks like it might pull out. It does. How about that? Is this the same on this end? It does, it does pull out. So, there is that, my friends. How about that? You learn something new every day. And here we say, I would have to say there is, it's not the greatest likeness of the actor, but it's close. I don't know what's off. I don't know if the sculpt is off. If the face printing is off, or if it's just that she doesn't have that other strand of hair hanging out over here, I'm, I'm not sure. It's not, 
It's not a bad likeness by any means, but it's not the greatest either, or most accurate. Let's zoom in a little bit. So, again, like I said, it's a it's an okay likeness. It's not the greatest, but I have seen worse. And she has paint apps here and there. It's mostly molded in black plastic. It's got some gloss paint it looks like on it and some paint apps here and there very nice looking figure overall let's take out check out her articulation she can look up that high she can look down that low she got tons of waggle in there she can do the full exorcist and let's see does she chicken neck No, not really any chicken neck going on there, although it should be, because I think the head is on a dumbbell and the neck is a separate piece on a ball joint at the bottom. At least that's the way it feels. At her shoulders, full 360 degree rotation. There is no butterfly. Because of this overlay, the arm comes out to right at 90 degrees. Nothing at the upper bicep. A hinge and swivel at the elbow gives you that much bend and a full 360 degree swivel. Another 360 degree rotation at the wrist and this one is on an in and out hinge while this one is on an up and down hinge. So. That's nice. Cut here where the chest meets the torso. Gives her plenty of hula action. Crunches back that far. Crunches forward that far. And she will do a full 360 degree rotation there. Nothing at the waist, which is not unusual with the Black Series. As far as the hips go, because of this overlay, She'll only give you that much of the splits. She kicks forward, not quite 90 degrees, but it's close. Back, better than some Marvel Legends, even with this overlay getting in the way. At the knee, hinge and swivel. Rotates around 360 degrees and gives you right at 90 degrees for bend. At the ankle, tilts down that far, tilts up just slightly, and a forward-facing pin for Rocker. And that, my friends, does it for a look at the figure and her accessories. Now it's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And we'll start things off with her new boss, Throne Room Boba Fett. And next up, we'll move to some characters that she encountered in The Mandalorian. Here we have Moff Gideon. Here is Koska Reeves. Here is Bo-Katan Kreeze. And here she is with Din Djarin.
Here she is with the Archive Edition 501st Clone Trooper. How does she stack up with some other lines? Let's take a look here from the Marvel Legends series. Making his cameo appearance, Stan the Man Lee. From the G.I. Joe Classified series, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander. And for a 7-inch scale figure, from McFarlane Toys, here we have the DC Multiverse, Three Jokers, The Joker, The Clown. And that, my friends, completes our look at comparisons. For final thoughts on Star Wars The Black Series, The Book of Boba Fett, Fennec Shand, action figure. I have to say, um, even though it's not the most accurate looking likeness to me, uh, the farther away that she is, the more the portrait looks accurate. If I don't know if that really makes sense, but that's what I'm seeing. When I look at it further away, it seems more accurate. Um, I do wish they'd have put that strand of hair, the, the, uh, the extra strand of hair hanging out on the other side, uh, like they did in the package art. But other than that, this is a great, great figure. Uh, lo not Lots of nice molded detail. Uh, the, the strap comes off of the gun to get out of the way, as you can see looks much better that way to me and you could might actually even make a a cloth one or something you know for people who do that kind of thing not me uh, to go on it and make it look even more accurate uh, her helmet is nice it's a bit of a tight fit on her head but that just means it won't fall off I guess but who's going to be displaying this figure with a helmet anyway? Mm, not me. Well, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just to help the channel out further, or both, that's even more awesome. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.